Bayern München are reigning supreme over in the FIFA World Club Cup. And they're also doing very, very well out in the Bundesliga. But what did I call back at the start of the season? Did I pick Bayern? Did I pick Dortmund? We'll take a little look. Next. Right, folks, back once again with another prediction show today. We'll take a look back at my early door picks for the Bundesliga season. And we'll get to that. Oh, yes, we'll get to that in just a second. If you're new to the channel, stop what you're doing. Smash your subscribe. Keep your bang up with all things. Black and Rose late. Bundesliga late. Whoa! Oh, here we go. Yeah. Under Walrowski. That's right. Of course. Yes, I made my calls all the way back at the start of the season. But just how close to the money am I? Am I on track or am I way off? We'll take a look at that in a minute, of course. Big, big shout out to the Patreons. You know who you are. The VIP Band of Brothers. Support the channel. Ooh, behind the bloody scenes. Uh, so big, big shout out to those guys. Uh, anyone else that wants to join that band of men and women, there is a link down below. Patreon.com forward slash Roverseas. So let's break into it. Of course, break into the Canada Pass. Uh, we're hopping over to this domain of football. If you have not known about this domain of football, you're bloody, bloody clueless. Um, so be sure to bang your subscribe and also check out the links over here, including Patreon right here. Yeah, of course, uh, also these other ones that I'm, uh, I'm, I'm members of. So uh, check it all out. In fact, you know where you should go. We're gonna we're gonna do this right now. We're gonna well, we don't want to do that. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go here, punch that in, and go like this. And you know what you're not what what you need to do is go over here, brothers. You got to go over here. I'm like four away, four away from one thousand and my other stuff here. And this this is a whole can of worms. You, you, you got all sorts of stuff. We do have sports stuff, a lot of logos knocking about, just four short of, of, of a thousand. Uh, so make sure you chum check that out. But anyway, regardless of all that, we're going to go back. So go over there and smash that subscribe. Anyway, let's go down here to my reacting to blah, 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 blah. And we're going to go to the Bundesliga Bix right here and see how I what I did way back at the start of the season. See where we are, of course, in regards to that. So we're going to pause that right there. Go back to my computer is a bag of shit. Gonna go all the way back here. Close your eyes. There we go. Don't look at it. Then we're gonna speed this son of a bitch up and go. He's already, he's already ready. He's, he knows what I'm talking about. He bloody knows. Blow it up like that, big time. And eventually, uh, we will go over here and whoosh, get that sucker up there. He's already going. It's already going. Slow your jets. Cool your jets, brother. Cool your jets. So what's gonna happen? Of course, the original video is behind me, and then we've got my new picks or the situation that they are on the table right now. So we're going to take a look at where they are, in the grand scheme of things. And then at the end of it, I'm going to redo it. But, but it'll be, it'd be brief. It's not going to be long-winded. So let's kick it all off. Show me what you're talking about. And hopefully this is right. Now, I've been doing these all, all week and they've been rough, hard to do. And hopefully this one right first off. The so we shall see. What you got in the middle? We're starting in the middle of the table and I work our way down, of course. So Frankfurt, they are doing... Much better than that. Up into fourth at the moment. Looking very, very good. And they look good right now for Champions League football. Of course, they brought Jovetic back. Scoring goals for fun. Of course, formerly of Madrid. Formerly, actually, formerly of Frankfurt. Of course, went to Madrid with the money. But, of course, come back now. And it's, it's pretty much continued where he's left off. So, yeah, that's a bit rough by me. It's a rough start. Um, I'm, I'm, I I'm think they're actually on, on, on merits. I think they're going to be where they are. They're going to be making a return to Champions League football. That's my bold pick right here, right now. So we'll see if that's the case uh, at the end of the season, of course. So 10th place was my original pick right here, right now. I've got the, they're in fourth. So a little bit off the money. Werder Bremen in 11th. Uh, that, that's where they are. So um, I can, I can s s gladly say, give myself a pat on the back for that Badger. I think they're on point for that. I think they may trail off a little bit as the season comes to a close. But uh, for right here, right now, they're doing okay. And I think they're content with that because considering last season's year of struggle and the cusps of going down. Uh, but they managed to stick around. Uh, so kudos for them. So next up, of course, into 12th. What do we have in Swaloff? Well, once he gets his act together, this good looking fella behind me, uh, we will see who's in 12th. Um, what you got? What you got for me, kid? What you got for me? We'll have a little gander in a minute. I think in the in my... I can't really remember who I went with. I might have went with something like Berlin, perhaps. Hertha Berlin. What did I go for? He's taking his time at Stuttgart into 12th. They're actually in tenth. They're doing a little bit better than that, and I'm and I'm I'm quite content with my original pick. I think they will trail off a little bit and go back down to twelfth. They've of course first first time back in the top flight since a season or two uh, in the wilderness in the Schweizer Bundesliga, but they're back uh, at the moment and they're doing a okay for their for the standards. They were flying high at the start of the season, but of course that uh, caught up with them eventually. And, and and right here right now they're in tenth, content with that, but they will drop. I'm sure. I'm sure. So I'm I'm pretty confident that, that those those two anyway two of those three will be closer to the money. Uh, at the end of the season, but Frankfurt 
weekend of uh, uh they've they've been impressive especially recently especially with the transfer when picking up Jovetic as well so into 13th spot what do we have in 13th we have Köln uh they're down in 14th at the moment so that's not bad uh decent side of course fresh off the back of a win against Munich Gladbach of course and recording this on the day of that uh the table might be a little bit different uh uh but we'll see but gonna have to roll with it it's, it's rough it's, it's a rough rough guide of course when this goes live the table will change a little bit but as of right now uh, they're doing okay uh, into 14th i've had them in 30th and i do expect them to climb a little bit freiburg though surprise package is a 14th they're up to ninth at the moment they might even be more than that uh because they just beat dortmund so um not changing it it's, it's been a pain just to get this far but uh they're having a good old season, and I think I think uh, yeah, I, I don't think they'll end up at fourteenth. I think they will end up much higher, maybe about twelfth. I do expect the likes of uh, of of maybe Stuttgart to move up a little bit, and I'm I think they're below them as well. Also push up the table. Uh, there's, there'll be some other there'll be some other teams that'll move them down a nodge or two in the or pecking order. But yeah, so, so far I, I, if I was them, I'd be very very happy with how the season is going. So into 50 with have Augsburg. They're around about there, aren't they? 13th, yeah. So they're doing a little bit better than that than I anticipated. But I do, again, expect them to... to try. In fact, I don't know, actually. Think about who is at the bottom. Schalke, there's no question about it. Schalke are doomed, and I think they're going down. Be, especially with the appointment. They could have made a really good appointment considering the size of Schalke, but they went for Christian Gross. I don't think it's got... It's not revitalised the camp at all. Um, I think they are toast. Um, so this could be this could be close to the money. I don't I don't anticipate much change at the bottom two two or three spots. So uh, I think Augsburg will be all right with that. Be content with that. Next up, of course, we have, I think in sixteenth is Union Berlin again. Another I thought it was going to be a second season syndrome, but no, they invested wisely. They brought in uh, who did they bring in? The goal scoring goal scoring machine. Who is it? Max Kraus maybe something like that. I don't know. He's got they've got goals in them. They've, they've been upsetting the the big teams along the way, and of course they're sticking around here. Of course, into top top eight, top ten, top half of the table for sure. And I think they'll be there or thereabouts at the end of the season as well. And when I say there or thereabouts, I'm on about eighth or ninth. I don't anticipate them to drop off like I have done here. The final two, I'm sure Bielefeld are in there. I'm sure Mainz are in there. I just don't know which way around. But regardless of that, um, it's definitely uh, there's definitely some surprises at the lower echelons of this, of this Bundesliga. Uh, so mine's into 17th. What did I went? I went with, yeah, that's pretty much on point. So I did anticipate them to go down and it looks like they will go down. They've been here for a few seasons. They always dodged a bullet. Last season, they dodged a bullet uh, with Dusseldorf and Werder Bremen knocking around as well. So yeah, I think this is it for them. And I don't anticipate Schalke getting out of the woodwork either. And I did boldly predict Schalke to be much higher. So we won't see them for a little bit. Uh, so into 18th, I'd probably say would Bielefeld and Bielefeld are on the cusps of that. I'll even reveal it right now. 16th and Real world, but uh, in now going teeth. So they it, they could get sucked into that, but as you can see, seven point gap already between Mainz and Bielefeld. I think they're gonna they are lucky that there are two worse teams than Bielefeld. I love I love Bielefeld. Been there many times. It's it's a Christmas market of choice whenever I go home to Germany. I love Bielefeld. Love the 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 curry out there. And I, of course, um, yeah, I like to see them stick around as long as possible. So into the top half we go, into the ninth spot. We're going to probably, I see Schalke maybe, I think. Maybe I went with Schalke, but of course they are rooted to the further table. But who did I go with ninth? Probably Hoffenheim, maybe. I don't know. Very, very interesting to see who I whacked in there. Come on then. It's Schalke. Yep, Schalke are having a nightmare season and they are probably going to go. I've put them in there with zero points. It's a, it's a mystery of whatever points they got in there. Probably got six, I think. Six or eight points. Something like that. They're absolutely washed at sea and I've already relegated them in, in my eyes. And that's a surprise because they, of course, former winners not too long ago. They've always pre they're always in that top half of the table. Um, I did not expect this for, for them. So it's, it, it's, it's a shameless resort to this, but maybe it's a, it's a rebuild in waiting for Schalke. Bounce back on. Uh, to eighth, I'm probably thinking Hoffenheim, perhaps. Um, maybe who else is who else would be up there? Uh, team that's 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 not that's not a small fry. I'm anticipating Hoffenheim next. Eighth, and they are oh, Hertha, Hertha Berlin. They've had also had a nightmare. And fifteenth again, just like Peter Feld, Luckily for them, there's two worse teams than them. They could also get easily get sucked into the. That's the that's the difficult though. There is that playoff relegation spot, which the likes of Köln, Hertha Berlin, and Armini Belfeld are in amongst that discussion. So you don't want to be in 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 that sixteenth uh, spot. They could avoid it. So Hertha could join the likes of Schalke going down. That'd be two juggernauts lost uh, to the Schweizer Bundesliga. So into seventh, I believe now will be Hoffenheim, who are down in twelfth. I can think. 
Um, yep, there they are. And I do anticipate Hoffenheim to climb the table a little bit, pushing the likes of Stuttgart and Werder Bremen down closer to that uh, to that relegation playoff spot. Um, surprisingly enough, they're, they're stuck down there. And it's quite tight, though, as you can see, 11th, 12th and 13th, all on 22 points and a win away from going into, into the top 10. Hoffenheim in 7th right now, but the real world, they are 12th. I do, yeah, like I said, I do anticipate them to climb the table a little bit and move forward uh, closer to the Europa League spots, but I think it's going to be too little too late. The likes of Berlin, Union Berlin looking good at the moment. Of course, uh, the boys above them. Sixth place is Wolfsburg. They're up to third at the moment, and they are looking quite consistent. Wood workhorse scoring goals for fun. <coughs> they, they went uh, a huge part of the season unbeaten. Uh, of course, it's kind of gone a little bit wobbly recently, and maybe squad depth will be a key part for them to remain in those top four spots alongside Frankfurt. But right now, it's a refreshing change to see the likes of those two up there, uh, and the likes of Dortmund, Leverkusen, and Mönchengladbach. And I'm a big Mönchengladbach fan, struggling because it does freshen up the the, the Champions League teams uh, in the Bundesliga. So it'll be it'll be good for those if they can stick around. But will they? I don't know. It's the fifth spot. I had Mönchengladbach. I did have them falling out of the Champions League. They're down to seventh. Right now, I do anticipate them to climb at least a spot, maybe two, if they can get their act together. But of course, they've got big Champions League games on the horizon as well. So that also might be det deterring them. If they win those, and it's a big one, a big ask. But if they win them, uh, you know what? Their season could be right back on track. If they lose them, they less thing to worry about. But Manchester currently in, in seventh. In the real world, they're in fifth. Or in my eyes, they, would, they were going to be fifth. But where will they end up with the season? I'll show you at the end of it. So into the power four now. We have Bayer Leverkusen. They currently find themselves in fifth. A win away from third. Of course, they're scoring goals as well. They're looking very, very dangerous as well. So, you know, I wouldn't rule out Leverkusen making a surge up to, to third. If not, maybe even second. I've got bad gas right now. So please excuse those as they trumpet on in. It's just what I had for breakfast, but it's all right. Uh, we're okay. You, you've got no smell of vision. But Leverkusen into fourth in my eyes in the real world. They're fifth at the moment. Again, I went away from going third. Into third, I think I had. I think I had. I had. I had. I think I went for Leipzig into third. Uh, Leipzig or Dortmund. I'm pretty dang sure of it. Um, but yeah, Dortmund are having a nightmare in sixth. It is Leipzig. Leipzig I had in third. They currently find themselves in second. Um, and they could end up in third. They could end up. They could drop, drop off a little bit. And again, they've also got Champions League uh, to, to, to worry about. Um, so that could be a deterrent as well. That kicks up in the top fight, of course, juggling multiple competitions at once. And then, of course, uh, into second. I'm going to do it now. I've got Dortmund. Dortmund are going to be in second on, on my uh, in the real world. Oh, sorry, in my original pick. They kind of find themselves in six. And again, they're all went away from third. Uh, same for Mitchell Gladbach. It is tight. It is very, very tight. And Gladbach could sneak in there. Uh, but we'll see about that. And of course, uh, we, I've got Bayern, of course, outright leaders. Probably a game in hand right now as well. Seven points clear at the moment. Again, that was pre the game against Hertha Berlin, I think, on the weekend. So... Um, yeah, so that's that's what I think uh, will, or, or that's what I did think at the at the start of the season. I did have Bayern going out all out to win Dortmund in second and and Leipzig in the third. Um, it could still it could still pan out that way, but I have been thinking about it. I've been chewing on it, and this is what I think will happen at the rest of the season. So we're gonna go take a little look. Of course, what my real deal picks. I think Schalke are toast. Mine's also joining them. And of course, Bielefeld will be in that relegation playoff, and they've got to work to do. Arthur Berlin will be down to fifteenth. Köln to fourteenth. Augsburg to thirteenth. Uh, into the top top eight. We have Hoffenheim up to eighth. Wolfsburg down to seventh. A big drop. Of course, those teams are uh, quite uh, nicely packed. I do have Dortmund up to third. They will they will turn it around. Frankfurt will be into fourth. Uh, somehow, somewhere, I, I think Madrid will get back up to fifth. And Leverkusen back to sixth. I think they'll tail off. But uh, that's what I made a couple of days ago. Actually, I've had these in the pipeline. But it might it might be like this. This is what I this is what I'm putting my money towards now. Uh, in my mind, I think Leipzig will be second. Uh, Dortmund will be back up to third. And Frankfurt with the goals. There we go. Again. So let me show you get your picks in, of course, down below what you think will happen the rest of the season. And then we'll take a look back at it, of course, later on. Until then, though, be sure to give the video some love and smash the old thumbs up. Smash your subscribe. We'll keep you back up to date with all things Bundesliga related. Black Bundesliga related. Whoa, football related. We're going to know here. Under one Ruski. That's right, of course. And also check out the links down below. I'm on Twitter. I'm on Facebook. I'm on Twitch. And I'm also on uh, Patreon. If you want to support the channel in another way, that's the best place to do it, pal. Uh, I also need to lose a bit of weight. Of course, back in those videos, I was, I was on a diet, I think. Uh, but anyway, we'll, uh, we'll we'll do it all again, of course, later on in the season. But until then, though, be sure to be safe out there. Mask up and all that kind of stuff. I'll see you all next time. Mask up. Safe, safe, safe.